GVO, Yosem Kun, and today I'm going to review the entry of Slovenia at Eurovision 2022 LPS with the song Disco. <laughs> Slovenia chose their Eurovision 2022 entry with the national final EMA, which they use almost every year to select a Eurovision entry. They didn't use the national final in 2013 and neither did they do that last year, which I think was the right decision for Slovenia to select their 2020 artist for 2021 as well, despite being on the last place of the betting odds in 2020. Well done, Slovenia. The big favorites to win EMA this year were All In by Loom and Girls Can Do Anything by July Jones. Yet, neither of them won. Instead, the in 2018 in grammar school formed band one which is lps and their song disco i think it's pretty fun that the opening line starts with we were in the disco and lps was playing Fichi was squeaking again gj messed up the solos so like they're referring to themselves in like a not too flattering way but i think that's pretty fun a fun way to write their opening lyrics it adds playfulness to the song a song that already sounds pretty playful also their name lps stands for lost pizza slice and that's just my kind of people that just made me love them more because I love Slovenia's entry this year. It's fun, catchy, an instant mood booster. It stays in your head after listening to it only once, like the melody. Like you don't have to understand the language or the lyrics for it to stay in your head after listening to it only once. I also like the fact that a young, pretty recent formed group won their national final pretty unexpectedly. Like this photo literally looks like they won a school's talent show. And I mean that in the best way possible because it looks pretty iconic. I know I use that word a lot, but I only use it when I mean it. Even though I really like this song, I gotta say I'm a bit worried for Slovenia's qualifying chances. First of all, they're participating in the first semifinal, which is the strong semifinal this year. It's really competitive. And next to that, they're performing in between Switzerland and Ukraine. Now, performing after Switzerland isn't really a disadvantage. I think that's kind of an advantage because you're going from a slow song to a really catchy, uplifting, mood booster kind of song. But Ukraine, I think Ukraine is going to kind of overshadow them. So that could work in Slovenia's disadvantage, but I still don't really feel like Slovenia is doomed to not qualify. Like Slovenia could be one of those songs where locals and the juries really like it and give them enough votes for them to qualify. Like I could see that happen, but maybe it's just because I really like this song and I'm kind of delusional, but I guess we'll see. Like I could see the song being really liked by the average viewer and them voting for it. I do feel like if Slovenia would have been in the second semi-final, they would have had like a pretty decent chance to qualify. It's just the fact that they're in the first semi-final that I'm kind of scared for Slovenia's qualifying chances. Like, I think right now I'd say borderline qualifier or borderline non-qualifier. So to conclude, I really like Slovenia's entry this year. It's fun, catchy, it's a feel-good song, it's a mood booster. I like that they're a young group that unexpectedly kind of won their national final, but I am a bit worried for Slovenia's qualifying chances. I don't think they're a guaranteed non-qualifier. I just think it's pretty likely for them not to qualify, if you know what I mean. Like this could be one of the songs that the Eurofandom keeps writing off as a non-qualifier but it could score really well with the locals and the juries. So I guess we'll kind of have to wait until the actual summer final to see what happens. And that's about all for now. What do you think of the song Slovenia this year? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully until next time. Nasvidenje!